good morning to all of you. Okay, today we are going to continue the second order linear non-homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients, which is in the form of a d two y dx two plus b d y dx plus c y equal to f x, where the f x is not equal to zero. As you know, the general solution is y equal to y c where the yc is a complementary function for the homogeneous equation where the right hand side is zero they add up with the yp okay yp is actually we use the undetermined coefficient where we choose the yp based on the form of fx and last week we have seen okay the first three cases of fx which is polynomial exponential and trigonometric functions and today we are going to look at the fourth case where they have the product form of polynomial with exponential k form hence k your yp is actually if you have polynomials of degree n stands your yp also polynomial of degree n multiply exponent kx if this form is clash if this one clash then you have to multiply against by x power 1 x power 2 and so on Okay, with this, we are going to, for this case 4, where the fx is a polynomial, product form of polynomial and exponential term. Okay, first of all, first step finds the solution of the homogeneous equation, y double prime plus y prime minus 2y equal to 0. Okay, <coughs> first of all, you have to get the characteristic equation. which is your, okay, let the second derivative by your m squared, first derivative by m, and then the y is 1 or m power 0, and then you can okay, solve it manually of use or using your scientific calculator. So this m, m, so plus 2, plus 1. Once you have your m equal to, eh, sorry, this is minus one. Uh, this is so. This one is minus one. I'm sorry. Okay, this is plus, this is minus. So m equal to 1 or m equal to negative 2. That's why your yc is a exponent negative 2x plus b exponent x. Okay, second step finds the uh, yp. We choose the yp based on the form of your yx. Okay, so you find the uh, yp. Since the uh, fx is actually fx is 9x exponent x. So we choose the yp. Okay, you have a polynomial of degree n. Then we choose, let's say, um, maybe here I use a p x plus q exponent x. Okay, and you notice that <coughs> you notice that this one, the term q exponent x is clash with b exponent x. Hence, I need to multiply the y p by x. Okay, and you expand in this will be px squared plus qx multiply with exponent x. So this is a correct scale or uh, yp that you should use in order no clash. Because here you got clash. Huh? Here no more clash. Q 
Okay, and then you have the second order differentiate equation. That's why you need to differentiate script one time, two time, put into cell. Uh, second order differentiate equations. That's why for your okay, you need to find cell. Okay, y prime p. This is the u. This is the v. And then remember, okay, when you ddx in the form of product form u v. You should have u, v prime plus v u prime. Hence, k your y prime p, k u. So you copy down u, which is your p x squared plus q x. V prime is x d d x exponent x. You still get back exponent x, and then uh, v. Is exponent x u prime differentiate this one, so you got two p x plus q. Okay, again you may collect okay uh sim collect the same term before you differentiate it second time, so p x squared, so you got p x squared. This is p x squared. Qx, 2px. So collect the linear term. So you have q plus 2px plus q exponent x. Okay. Now <coughs> again, uh, this is u. This is v. So you differentiate it second times will be your u v prime. So this is p x squared plus u. V prime, so you still get exponent x, and then plus okay plus the uh, v v is Exponent x u prime. This is a uh, u. Uh, so u prime will be two p x plus q plus two p. Okay, and you may uh, simplify before we plug in into the second order differential equation. So p x squared. Uh, the linear term mean q plus two p two p. So total, you have four p plus q for the x exponent x q plus q. So total is two q plus two p exponent x. Okay. So you plug in the y okay double prime y prime p y p into the Second order differential equations here. So we have uh, the y double prime is actually that's not the y double prime. You got what? P x squared plus four p plus q x plus two p plus two q exponent x. Then for the y prime, in this one, okay, this is here. P x four p plus four, four p plus q x, two p plus two q, y prime. Y prime is here. Okay, add up the y prime. Okay, the y prime, which is actually um, we got p x squared plus. 2p plus q x plus q exponent x p x squared 2p plus q plus q exponent x okay minus 2 times of y okay the y is actually p x squared plus q x exponent x equal to 9 x exponent x 
Okay, and then we may um, collecting the same order of term. Okay, you notice that this one px squared, px squared, two px squared minus two px squared cancel. Then we collecting the linear term, constant term. Okay, for the linear term, so we got here 4p, 2p, 6p. Eh? So total you have okay, for the linear term, eh, mean the, the x exponent x term, eh, x exponent x term, you got 4p here, four, eh, sorry, total is 6p. Okay, let me add that. Eh? So 4p plus 2p plus q q plus 3q 3q equal to 9 okay, q actually add up uh, sorry for linear term 4p 2p 6p q q 2q minus 2q so no more this one So that's why we have the here. We got actually six p equal to nine. P will be three over two. Okay, for the lin uh, constant term two p plus two q plus q. So mean total two p plus three q. Because this one, another term for here q here q here q here this one this one this one cancel so lastly here this one 2p plus 3q equal to 0 mean for the exponent x term exponent x term total you got 2p plus 3q 2p plus 3q equal to right hand side we don't have exponent okay exponent x term so it's equal to zero two times this p so total you got two times three over two is three plus three q equal to zero mean three q equal to negative three so q will be negative ones Hans k <coughs> You have your y p is actually p uh, three over two x squared minus q, which is one x multiply exponent uh, mean multiply exponent x. That's why. Uh, lastly, the general solution is the y c, which is a exponent negative 2x okay plus b exponent x add up with your yp which is 3 over 2 x squared minus x exponent x okay with this k thank you for your attentions